How's it going there again? Brandon here coming to you from the gallery and studio and I have another palette knife only painting here we're going to be doing. So get your palette knives ready for this one. This is a magnolia tree flower blossom. So if you want to paint along with this one, let's do it now. Alright, so I've got a 6x8 canvas here that I'm going to be doing this project on. I'll be doing it all with palette knife and painting a magnolia tree flower bloom here. So the first thing I'm going to do, well I put a little loose pencil sketch in here of my bloom itself so that I can have some area here defined that I can do my edges with. And I'm going to be doing it in basically black with a little bit of green mixed into it and try to define out my actual flower bloom shape by doing the background around it first. So that's what I'm gonna get started with here. This is gonna be mostly green with some black mixed into it. And all I'm trying to accomplish here is again, uh, define out my flower shape itself by filling in these areas around where I've pencil sketched. And I'm just going with a, a lot of black here and then I'm gonna bring some green maybe a touch of uh, white into it into some areas to add a little bit of details but i don't care about a lot of detail in this i'm just trying to give the indication that there are going to be some dark magnolia leaves and stuff around the edges here so the most important thing that i'm trying to accomplish with this is just to, again defining out the shape of my overall flower um, by painting around these edges first so this again is mostly black um, and a tiny bit of sap green thrown in there so it's not just straight black that I'm putting on here but it's a pretty dark, really dark green and so I will lighten it up in a few areas once I get some of this black put in place. And if you're painting along with me on a flower, I mean you can put whatever background you want around here whatever colors you want but just obviously make them where they're going to contrast against your flower itself so these magnolia flowers are um, you know a, a white color flower kind of a creamy white looking flower so I'm going with this nice dark rich black and green background here so and I've added just a touch of white in my mix here and now you'll notice <clears throat> I'm not mixing the colors really well I'm leaving them kind of streaked and mottled on my palette knife um, as I just smear it out here and spread it into place because again I'm not not concerned about specific details in this um, I just want there to be some different things going on to give the indication that there are maybe some leaves over or around these edges and get a good dark contrast with my flower I'm going to come back and paint the edges of this canvas completely black um, when I get this stage here done and I'm letting this dry I'm just gonna paint the edges of this canvas black but for now I'm only worried about carrying the color to the top edge here I like creating kind of a, a streaky looking effect with some of the lighter colors in here. So I may go back into one or two places and add in a little bit lighter um, color across it with the green and the white just to create some, just to break it up a little bit in some areas that are rather dark. But I'm not real concerned about the textures I'm creating here with this um, palette knife on these edges either. I mean, it can be, it can be whatever. When I start to fill in the flower, though, I'm going to pay a little bit more attention to the actual textures I'm creating with my palette knife. But for now, I'm just kind of dragging some streaks of stuff in here.
making sure I've got full coverage and get these edges. So now I've let this thing dry and I've painted my edges black. I'm going to come in here in the middle and kind of define out where the center of this flower is and the little stamens and pistils or whatever these things are. It's been a long time since I've had a biology lesson, but anyway, uh, a little bit of a yellow or color here in the center. So I'm going with a little bit of yellow ochre along the base of this to darken it up and then lightening up it a little bit here as it um, fades up into the tips of these things and right now I'm just dropping this in so I know where it's going to be but I'm not overly concerned about shaping this out right now in the center that's gonna be probably the last thing that I do I just wanted to get something in place there now for these flower petals I'm gonna go about this the same way I do all of my other paintings I'm gonna put my darker shades of stuff in first and then come back in and put my highlights in last so I'm mixing up a white here with a touch of blue in it maybe a touch of raw umber in it to grade out just a tad and so i'm coming in here now with like a grade out value and i'm going to try to shape out these flower petals initially i'm just going to get this color in place and when i'm doing this all the areas that are going to be kind of in these mid tones i'm just going to put this kind of grayed out color in and then in some areas that I want my brightest highlights, I may drop in just a little bit of white along some edges and in some places. That way I know when I come back, that's where my brightest highlights are going to be. And then in some of these areas that are going to be even darker shaded, I'm going to add maybe a touch more black into the mix and go ahead and darken some areas up as well. So right now it's about getting full color coverage on a base layer here but I am going to try to put colors in place that ultimately I think are going to belong there um, in the end. So I'm still working now with this grade mix that I've got and getting a lot of full coverage here on some of these petals that are going to be all in that mid-tone range. And again, I'm going to come back and be highlighting across all the tops of this. Now I am trying to pay a little bit of attention to the textures I'm creating here because I am trying to work with the paint itself to create ultimately what will look like a realistic um, flower petal so I don't want I don't want strange looking lines for a lack of a better word but I am going to create some very defined edges in places where these petals are going to curl on the edges and maybe separate from one petal to another so I'm trying to kind of flatten out and smooth out some of these middle areas on these petals but along some of these edges I'm going to leave that little a lip or curl of paint and then I'm going to very specifically create some of those curls and edges once I start to define out these individual petals that are on here. And you see me I'm rotating this palette knife a lot trying to get color into some of these areas but still smoothing a lot of it out here in the middle of these petals because again I don't want tons of weird looking textures in the middle of these things especially when I'm going to come back over them and try to highlight some areas out I'm going to carry this grayed out value around a good bit of these petals. I did switch to a slightly smaller palette knife here, trying to work in a little bit tighter spaces. But you can see I'm still smoothing a lot of that paint out in the middle for right now. And then I'm going to come back in here like on these edges like this. I'm going to leave that little lip of paint down there at the bottom but I'm going to come back and create some very specific edges like that as well to create some separation in a few in a few of these areas and I'm going to end up having to let uh, you know I am using acrylics by the way I um, don't know if I've already mentioned that but um, I'm working with acrylic paint here and so I'm going to be letting this dry between some of these layers instead of just working wet on wet through the whole thing so I'm trying to 
get a layer of paint in here the way I want it and get the textures the way I want them and then I'm gonna let them dry before I come back in with another layer now I'm gonna come in with a lot more white in a couple of places here to lay in the area that some smaller petals are going to be that are kind of turned here in the middle so like right here I'm just gonna blob in some white it's gonna be coming up from the center this is gonna be like a, a petal that's kind of turned to the side a little bit um, it's coming up from the center and then I'm gonna put another one over here and so I'm very intentionally leaving kind of those edges with that curl of paint on them um, to define out the edges of those individual petals another one over here on this right edge so for now I'm gonna leave that lip of paint along the bottom to create some separation between those two and then smooth out a good bit of the rest of that and now while I'm working with this white I'm gonna just highlight in some areas with it that are a little bit lighter in color and um, ultimately in the end there'll be a little bit more of a highlight in this area along the base of this top petal I'm gonna start to try to bring in my different shaded values here so uh, areas that I know I'm gonna be highlighting out so the bottom of this other petal here on the left I'm gonna bring in a little bit more of the white along that edge and create a little bit of the um, raised lip texture there on that so that creates some separation between those two petals over there on the left I'm also going to shade in some areas now add a little bit more touch of black to this to grade a little darker some of these areas that I know are going to be a little more shaded um, here along this petal on the left corner that's close to the center is going to be shaded and then this top right edge of this upper petal over here I'm going to shade down some so I'm going to go ahead and put some of that little bit darker gray over here on that Now I'm just going to try to clean up a little bit of these areas back in here with the white to finish this petal out. And then I'm going to create a little ridge of paint here to separate these two petals with the white. Now I'm going to put a little lip of paint on some of these other areas along the edges where it's going to be curling. So this one on the top left, I'm going to put a little curl of paint up there. I'm going to stick a little curl of paint also on this one here on the bottom right edge. So I'm basically just putting a glob of paint in here and then I'm smushing it out, for lack of better words, from underneath that palette knife to where it creates a little ridge of paint. And I'm just going to do this along the edges of some of these petals here to let that dry and create that separation, give me that texture and that little ridge on the edge. Maybe a little bit more of a ridge here along this one here to the bottom left again. And I need to clean up this just a tad here on this side. And then the petal that's underneath this over here is a little bit more shaded. So I'm going to bring in a little bit tiny more, more black into that and gray that out a little bit and bring in just a little darker gray right underneath this area because this area is going to be a little more shaded hanging out because this petal is behind this, that other one there and while I've been working some of my other areas have been drying so I want to come back over here and redefine this little petal here that's going to be sticking out in the middle so I got my white back out here again created another ridge with that I think I'm also going to redefine this ridge that's in here 
it's overlapping that top one and then also the same with this little petal that I'm going to be creating up here at the top now I think I'm going to bring in a little different color here on the center of some of these petals because you know these flowers have a little bit of a creamy look to them I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of my yellow ochre to my mix I've been working with here and just to kind of yellow that out a little bit make it a little more creamier and drag that color in the center of some of these petals now again this is just a personal preference thing for me I just wanted to cream this out a little bit I guess is the word I want to use um, I you know you could have stayed with that bluish gray color that I had and been just fine I guess um, personal preference or if you're painting an entirely different color flower obviously it's whatever you want to do but <clears throat> excuse me I'm going to bring in this color into some of these areas and I'm still going to end up highlighting over the tops of all this but um, I wanted a little bit more of this color coming through on the final product once I start to highlight over this um, than what I had going on so I'm going to bring this in and smear it into some of these areas Once I get this color put through here, I may be at a point where I need to stop and let this whole thing dry before I do anything else. We'll see what we've got going on. I'm going to add just a tiny touch of black in here to darken out and gray up just a little bit more along the edges of this one here. Maybe smear a little bit of that darker color here on the middle of this petal up top. Again, this is just me playing around with wanting a little different stuff going on. And then I still got some blank canvas in there that I need to cover up and that area of that petal. I'm going to go back into my creamy mix here and finish that out. And again some of my other stuff now has been drying while I'm doing that. I'm going to just keep right on plugging along here. I'm going to go and maybe start highlighting out this bottom petal here brighten up my mix a little bit here a little bit more white in it and come into the center of this petal and just smear that color around and then I'm going to go back into my little bit darker mix here it's got a bit more black mixed into it and I want to darken up this smaller petal here that's hanging out behind these two because it's going to be more shaded and then bring my shaded color also over here underneath where that petal is kind of hanging over top of this one it's gonna be a little bit more shaded in that center or excuse me shaded along that edge I don't want that dark to be quite that far in the middle I'm gonna lighten that back up and then now I'm also going to fade this color a little bit from the dark to lighter here on this petal as it comes out so I'm gonna drag a little bit more white into this and bring it out to the edge And I think I want to redefine the lip and the edge of this petal now as it's overhanging that one. So I'm going to begin my white here and push that color out along this edge to kind of create that lip again. So that gives me good separation now between those two. All right, now that I've got my petals shaped out about the way I want here where I have use my palette knife to get some of these um, raised ridges along the edges. I don't know how easy that is for you to see on camera there. But for instance, like this area in here, around some of these petal edges, I have created that raised ridge 
with my palette knife. So that has helped me shape out this flower petal the way, or this flower, or flower bloom, I should say, the way I wanted it. I'm now going to come back in here and just work on the coloration and the shading of each of these. And then, of course, put that midsection back in. And uh, that will be a finished product. So I'm going to get working on shading out these petals and see if we can get this thing looking the way we want. First thing I'm going to do is come in here and create a little bit of a darker area at the base of these petals and then fade it out because um, it would be a little bit darker here where these things are meeting in the center. And then I'm going to fade that color out a little bit here and then just start working with some, uh, I don't know, just some lighter and, and darker highlights here and see what we get. I think I'm going to keep this dark value on in here and I'm going to come right along the bottom ridge of this um, area that I've created this little lip of paint. Put some dark along the bottom of it. Now I'm going to come in with a little bit lighter gray here along this area and start to lighten that up a little bit. I'm going to say there's a little bit more light catching this one here on the inside, so I'm going to bring in a little more white here towards the center of that and fade it. I'm just going to keep working this color fade here out to the edge of this particular petal. Just kind of smear and smooth in this color around with this palette knife. And at this point, you know, you'll get all kinds of little different values and textures down in there that kind of make it look like a realistic pl uh, flower petal, in my opinion. It's kind of nice, it just kind of automatically does it. You don't really have to work for it at this point. We've got like two or three layers of dried paint down in here. I'm going to put some more of this dark paint here along the bottom of this lip of dried paint here to define this edge out. I've just got a little bit of dark paint right along the tip of my palette knife here and I'm going to paint it literally right along the bottom edges of these little ridges of paint. Kind of where they're curled a little bit. Where they would be um, shaded. Now, now I'm going to go back into my white here and let's go along the top edge of this petal and start to work it in a little bit here. Create that top edge of this. While I'm brightening things up, I'm going to come in here in the middle of this large petal here and brighten that one up. And again, this is just going to be a matter of kind of feeling out some highlights here and putting some stuff in place until I can get it where I'm happy with the way this is looking. But I know I want to brighten that petal up a good bit. And so it's, it's probably hard to tell here on the camera, but that creamier color I laid down, it shows through kind of a translucent um, looking um, thin layer of paint I'm putting down on top of that now. And so you can see some of that creamier color coming through. Now I need to bring some darker color in here to shade out this particular petal. I just want it white along the edges. I want the center of it shaded out. Now I'm going to move into this other petal here on the top left and start bringing in some brighter highlight on top of it. And again, just start to smear this color in. Or you can still get a little bit of my background color underneath it shining through in some places. Kind of awkward working some of these angles, but I'm just going to keep <laughs> turning the palette knife and moving it around here until I get the coverage I'm looking for. I 
think I kind of like those ridges that it left in there. I'm going to leave that as it is. I'm going to go back to my dark color here that I'm using as a shade color and I'm going to put it along the bottom edge of the little curl and lip of paint over here on this one as well. It really will define out those edges on that. Maybe also bring it in really shaded out here underneath where this this petal it's kind of hiding underneath here is, has got some darker shading going on here because it's underneath these other two and then start to lighten that up a little bit and fade it out a little lighter gray here and fade it out over the rest of this petal try to smooth out any texture lines that I don't particularly like keep sweeping them around there so that flower petal looks like a a flower petal in my mind anyway that's a little better I'm a little happier with that Let's go to this other shaded one here on this right corner and put in a little darker areas below here where it's going to be heavily shaded and then do the same thing. We'll fade out a little gray. And lighten it up here with a little bit more white as I get to the outer edge of it where it's catching a little more light. Now I'm going to just bring in some of my brighter whites here in the areas that I want to brighten up. Let's put some out on along the edges of this larger petal here that's kind of front and center. Now I want to shade out some of this area on this smaller petal here that's kind of poking out in the middle of this flower. This top edge needs to be shaded a little bit bring in some darker stuff here and fade that color in and clean up the edge of my bottom shaded curl here now I'm gonna start working on my center area here and I'm gonna to go to a, I've got a really pointed palette knife here that I can work into some small areas. I'm going to put some raw umber and a tiny bit of yellow ochre on here and draw in a little dark crease where these petals kind of form and come together here along the base of this. And then basically fade that color up into just some yellow ochre and then lighten it up here as I move up this area of the center of this flower. And I'm just going to lighten my value up here. I'm going to add a tiny bit, tiny bit of green, because it's kind of a greenish look to it, and um, a little hint of white, and bring that up in here to the tops of this area. Now I need to create a little bit of a dark background for the top here where the tips of these little um, pieces of flower are going to be sitting else you won't really be able to see them too well. So I'm going to put in a little raw umber yellow ochre mix here to create a little bit of a darker shaded area. Now I'm just using the tip of this little pointed palette knife here to scratch in some lighter areas here with a little bit of white mixed in and then scratch in a few little lines of some darker stuff here and some browns and some lights going back and forth. I'm just creating basically looks like little individual lines in here. Now while that's drying and I've got my little sharp pointed palette knife here I'm going to go into straight titanium white and just tiny or just highlight the tips of some of these 
curled up edges of flower here on these center petals. And then I want to bring in a little bit of that white right here at the base where this petal is coming out from center where it's curved and catching the most light. So I want to highlight that out a little bit better. And then maybe along this petal over here to the side do the same thing, add a little bit more brighter white highlight in there. I'm going to thicken up this area here too where there's two petals here that are kind of overlapped so it wouldn't be as translucent looking in this particular area. It would be a little more opaque because you have two petals that are crossing each other here so I'm going to thicken that paint up right in that area to make it a little bit more opaque. And then I need to make my line matching that coming off that back corner here for that last or that top flower petal. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more white to the center of this petal here because again this is going to be a big flat area here that's going to be catching the most light so I want to brighten it up a little bit more. And some of the areas here along the edge of this particular flower petal trying to make it the brightest to create better separation with it and that one that's behind it back there. Same thing on this edge. Maybe a hint of highlight on this top corner where this back petal here is just curling along its edge a little bit. And maybe a touch of bright white highlight along the top edge of that curl of paint in there and this curl of paint over here. And just wherever you want to throw in some little bright white highlights. You can kind of get carried away with this I guess, but at some point you just have to stop and say okay that's enough. I just keep seeing little edges that I want to clean up and touch up though. Now let's get back to the center piece here. I'm going to keep scratching in some little lines in here. If you look at the center of one of these blooms, these things have just got a bunch of little tiny fingers that are projecting out through this. So that's what I'm just trying to create that impression. There's lots of little individual lines in here. And then for the tops of these things, I'm going to go back into my touch of tiny touch of green and white with that yellow ochre in there. And then I'm just going to um, let me drag a little bit of that color into these lines here along the top. But then to create the tops of these things, I'm just going to touch tiny little blobs and dots of this color, I guess you should say, here along the top end and not you don't want to cover up all that dark that I laid in back there because that's giving you your contrast and allowing you to see these but I'm just touching in little I'm just touching in little dots of this color to create the illusion or impression of the tops of these little things that are poking up here in the middle of this flower and you can add in as many of these as you want but don't cover up all that dark behind them or else you won't be able to see them very well. And that's pretty much all that I'm going to do to finish this flower out. I'm happy with that and call it a finished painting.
And there is my completed magnolia blossom there done in all palette knife with a little bit more of an abstract feel to it. I've got some decent texture going on with this one. If you painted along with it, I hope you have something you're pleased with. And until next time, happy painting everybody.